Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Little King Story. In the last episode we were on a treasure hunt but this time we're going to take on the Mad Mask Rumour. And the Mad Mask Rumour all revolves around a guardian called uh, Ogre Ergo. And uh, he's challenged us to a fight so let's go kick his ass shall we? Uh, in fact I'm going to take a bit of a rest at uh, first because all my soldiers are still injured from the treasure hunt. So let's heal up shall we just quickly and then we'll take him out. Now in this fight I like to use archers, I really do, because archers uh, are just really good for this fight. Although I am going to take soldiers as well, archers and soldiers. Uh, I do have some carefree adults around who I am going to make into um, archers as well, just for extra arrows basically. Because you might run out of arrows, you probably won't, but you might do. So, uh, let's go get that job done first. Carefree adults, attention. Stand by and get ready. So, we'll take all these guys with us. So, let's go get these turned into archers. Now, there is a cannon right near the archer place. However, uh, look, little King Dan needs the exercise. <laughs> As if he hasn't been through enough already, seeing all of his comrades die in battle. <laughs> Archer, I'll be needing you, and you as well, so prepare for war. Right, let's get these five in here, then you can just run away and they'll instantly come following you. What I'm going to do now is though, I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to call my trump team. And my trump card team are archers, basically. They're all archers. So we'll get them, and then we'll pick up a few guards on the way, and then we'll take, well, then we'll kick some ass. <laughs> If only it was that simple. Right, so come up here. And trump card team. That will bring all your archers to the fore. Uh, you should have about nine. Well, I, I think I have about nine or ten or something. Can't remember. I'm going to take guards as well, just in case I run out of arrows or if I just need an extra bit of uh, bulk within my uh, team. So that's all of the archers. Fifteen. 16, 17, bingo. Right, let's roll, shall we? God, I've got a lot of guards. You don't need this many grunt soldiers, guys. You really don't. So if you're playing this game with me, you don't need that many. <laughs> Trust me. You will never need that many. I think the most um, guys you can get in a, a team is 30. We're on 17 at the minute. But if we have all those guards, you don't need, you don't need that many. I think it's 30, I'm not too sure. You'll see later in the game, because I'll be buying all the guard badges, so you'll eventually see how many we need. Anyway, uh, the Torn Forest, which is where Orga Ergo is, is just right past Stone City, and it's just up here. To the right you'll have Owl Forest, we'll be taking the Guardian of that on later, but we're taking this guy on first. So, uh, yeah, let's get this party started, shall we, with Orga Ergo. What a odd name to say. And basically he's a strange ticky mask guy with a cleaver. And how does this work? Well when he has his mask like it is now with the horns facing up, he is a nice guy. He is the sort of guy you want to be around. Uh, problem is when his uh, mask turns the other way, he turns into a right douchebag. So what can you do apart from try and kill him? Now the point of archers is to... Oh crap. The point of archers is to... Um, fire arrows at him obviously. What I like to do is I like to chase him into the archers. So there you go, all I need to do now is just wait and he will lose health. He'll lose about a quarter and then I think his mass will change, yeah his mass changing round now. Go straight into attack formation and start running. He'll throw his cleaver in kind of a boomerang motion twice. You can dodge it if you just follow the pattern of the uh, of the, uh, the the cleaver the cl the boomerang. So you'll if you if you just do that you'll be fine. Uh, I kind of ruined that, didn't I? So let's just chase him round. Right, come on, let's get as many guys on him as possible. Get all the as many archers as you can, and then go back. Once soon as you see that mass turn around, run towards him, and then just try and dodge the uh, cleaver. He, the cleaver will clear out the logs. That's a good thing about this fight because the logs can get uh, in the way. So get as many people on him again, and then just chase him round into the archers. That's all I do. I think that's the best method. I think it's the only method. I'm not too sure. I'm trying to remember to one of the YouTube videos I watched of this battle because I needed to remind myself of what this battle was actually like. And I, I don't know how he did it. I forgot. Um, but he did it, so I'm going to do it as well. 
In fact, guard, uh, this formation might actually be more beneficial to you, uh, the, uh, the guard formation. But yes, again, do the same thing. Fire your archers, chase him round into the archers. Try and get a guard on top of him as well. If you can do that, then he'll lose a lot more health. Uh, he's going crazy mode again. Right, guard formation. Right, wait until he's about to throw it, and then just follow it around. Let it go around you. Run towards him, let it follow you around, and then just get back into it. Get back into the fight. Get back into the fight, and then let, let all the arrows fly, and then chase him into the arrows. And this should be game over. This should be it. Hooray, we've killed him. What a tactic by Upstart DJ. Man, I did that well. I don't know if that is the actual tactic you're supposed to use. If it is, then I'm not going to take credit for it. But if that is a brand new tactic, then I'm very happy. Because <laughs> I'm a revolutionary now. <laughs> you defeated the Torn Forest Guardian without breaking a sweat. I really didn't. Uma will no longer appear in that area. We can expand further. Right, Pancho? Yes, Moo. Hooray! How she is happy we're going to build more stuff. Main thing I wanted to do that one though is because of the two treasures. Let's see how much they're worth. Three grand and three grand, that's an extra six grand, and we have enough for the marketplace. Uh, is it called the marketplace? I don't know, but we'll be buying it right now. Uh, so, Hauser. We'll go to uh, Kingdom Plan. Uh, it's just down here. Uh, where is it? Oh, this will open Soldier Town, by the way. The veteran barracks will train hardened soldiers. These soldiers are much more powerful, and they have a special attack that might happen as well uh, so if, if you use a lot of them. So uh, it's w uh, that's probably the next thing I'm going to go for, but I'm going to go for the shopping arcade. Uh, to have a savvy merchant with you is very helpful because they can open those giant purses and the giant purses are filled with uh, treasure. Uh, I think savvy merchants are quite expensive to actually make so I'm going to try making one. Um, let's just get a royal guard together, I'll throw a soldier in there. Yeah, I'll throw a soldier in there, see what happens. Oh, yeah. Now um, the the market is over the bridge, so let's go let's go over there. The finishing touches we put on the shopping arcade, shopping arcade, not the market. I keep calling it a, sh uh, a market for some reason. Let's go see what goes down. I'll chuck a guard in there. I've got far too many. Um, yeah, all right. It's just here. All right. Uh, where's the ha where do we, where's the actual door? The door's here, isn't it? So let's chuck one in. Does, do we have enough money? You need 900... No, we still need a lot of money. Luckily though, um, if I can... I, luckily though, there is um, a gold bar we can get. A gold bar we can get, which is very, rather secret. It's rather hidden away and it's in the forest. But for it, we'll need a lumberjack. So I'm just going to turn that guard into a lumberjack. Um, the gold bar will be worth, I think, a thousand uh, balls. So let's go get it. That would be really helpful. And since I have, I've got seven minutes left, we might as well do it. Anyway, we need to go into the forest for this gold bar. So let's go into the forest. We've not been into the forest for a while, but you, if you go into the forest now, you can actually go see Ginger. Uh, Ginger is just up here, I think. Uh, yeah, Ginger is up there. You can trade in your art pieces if you go up there. I'm not going to do it yet, though. So uh, let's get our Lumberjack chopping. Lumberjack will take out these rocks in one, so uh, it is all good. Then fire everybody at this tree stump, and they'll take it out. Uh, Toodle pip, as the British may say. Uh, I don't have a farmer, but all these archers can take down the hole. There's a hole that enemies do come out of the hole, um, but eventually you will get a gold bar. So it's always worth it. And then we'll train a savvy merchant, and then probably on the next episode I'll open that purse up, which was near the first Oni fight, near the Oni grounds, if you remember, just to the entrance of Dark Valley. I'm sure you're all remembering this, I'm sure you're all picking it up, and I'm sure you're all super intrigued with this LP. <laughs> I hope so. <sighs> Thankfully, it's not going to be as long as I thought. I thought this would be a really long LP, but actually it's not going to be that long. Uh, we've taken out two bosses already. Um, well, yeah, two bosses already. We only have five more to go. Uh, the five, five more kingdoms to go. So it's not going to take that long, thankfully. 
Uh, I don't know why it took so long for the other LP to do it. As I, I was saying in an earlier episode, another LP took 150 ep uh, episodes to do it. I don't know, maybe he was doing it blind, maybe he was showing a lot more of the grinding, I don't know. I just don't want to show grinding. Grinding is dull. Why would you want to see me grind? <laughs> I've shown you I've shown you how the quests work anyway. I showed you that Wolfbane Trio quest. I've shown you the um, what was the other one? The cow herder quest. So it's not like you're totally in the dark about how I'm grinding for money. That's basically all I'm doing. I'm just doing quests. So uh, don't worry about it if you feel that you're missing out. Might as well knock this wood over as well. It might have something helpful in it. Uh, it does. It has an art piece. Wow, I did. I, I'm glad I hit that uh, wood. <laughs> that sounded wrong. I'm sorry. Art piece number 18, Mr. Furry by Toko. Toko's had one before, so uh, good for him. Two-time art piece winner, obviously. Right, let's get... In fact, no, if we just walk out here, uh, press the plus button, then press 2, you will jump straight to the castle without any bother, so that's a lot easier. I think you can only do that when you're in familiar ground, uh, when you're in ground that you actually own. So, um, if you're in enemy territory, you can't really do it. I'm sorry. Right, let's get these counted. This should... yeah, gold bar is worth a grand, so we've got more than enough. Uh, do we have a, Yes, we do have a new merchant. I thought it was about time we had a new mer merchant. Excuse me, my king. It seems that a merchant wants to speak with you. Do you want to meet with him? Go on, then. Right, what does a merchant want to sell? Last time it was uh, weapon research. This time it is... I have brought a new plan for armor today. Armor research. That's going to be helpful. It, all you need to do is buy it again, just like you did for the weapons research. I think armor will give you uh, more life per soldier. I'm not sure, though. It doesn't actually give you much of a clue on the kingdom plan, but, you know, I'm working from memory, and that's about the best guess I've got. I'm not going to buy it yet, though. I want to buy a merchant. Uh, not a merchant, a, sa a savvy... Yeah, savvy merchant, that's what they're called, isn't it? So let's go... Uh, let's go get one of those bad guys going on. Right, I still have my guards here. I don't really need this many guards with me. Why are you all following me? Don't you have homes to go to? <laughs> <sighs> I'm out of breath. I've had a long recording session tonight. <laughs> it's been really tough. <laughs> I'm just I'm glad. This is the last episode I'm doing tonight. I may even cut it off early. I'm at 12 minutes 30. I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've seen enough. Anyway, throw, throw a guard in here and you will get a Savvy Merchant. Hooray, a Savvy Merchant. Right, Savvy Merchants have no um, they have no skill fighting. They can't break rocks or anything, they are useless apart from finding treasure and hidden um, holes. Now sometimes when you're walking around just normally, you may uh, the merchant may stop and reveal a hole. Dig it up, it's probably got treasure in it. So where was the actual purse? It was up here, wasn't it? So let's... I know my guards are probably getting their asses kicked right now, but let's fire it. Let's fire the savvy merchant into there. He'll open it up, and we found another treasure. Pretty good, hey? Let's press two again. Can we get into familiar ground? The skinny right. What the hell do you want, buddy? Um, no, I'm not going to be able to get scared. It's not going to let me jump to the castle. Oh well. We'll go to the castle normally. Where's my savvy merchant go? There he is. So you, you only need one savvy merchant throughout the entire game, so don't worry about it. Just just get one and then you're fine. It costs a lot of money, so you, you can only really handle one. You can only really afford one. But that's all you need. Even if he's at the back of your group, he will find uh, hidden holes. So again, make sure you have a farmer with you as well. That's an extra free grand though. I'm actually... Shall I spend that? No, I'm gonna save my. I'm gonna save my money for the hardened, um, the hardened soldier hut as well in Soldier Town. But anyway, whew, what an episode! We have defeated another guardian. We've expanded once again. We've got a savvy merchant. It is all good. We're gonna take on Dove Rock next. Uh, we're gonna take on Dove Rock next. So we need to go to Dove Rock's uh, kingdom, and we're gonna do that next time on Let's Play Little King Story. See you later, guys.